tonight on Capitol Hill could determine the future of the Republican platform. Leader Kevin McCarthy is the front runner for the Speakership of the House. Now, some of his colleagues are they're not on board, and they still aren't sure if they're going to vote for him uh, coming up uh, next week. The vote is, po uh, is uh, uh, supposed to be next Tuesday, January 3rd, and nobody knows what's going to happen. So let's go to the horse himself. Kevin McCarthy joins me now. Mr. Leader, good to see you. So see what's going to happen? What's going to happen with the Speaker's race next Tuesday? Give me your take. Well, I think we all come together. We made great progress today. We've been working on the rules. People want to see a different rule package. Open it back up. We've done from 72 hours, a church style, to be able to investigate the FBI and others. You've watched this uh, new ability to bring more votes, to, uh, uh, bills onto the floor in an open process. I think this is all healthy. You watched, uh, you know Morgan Griffith, who really cares about the rules. He came out and supporting me today based upon the progress that we've made along here. So I think everyone will get there at the end of the day. But we have to. If we want to save the American public, we're the only ones in the forefront to stop these Democrat liberal policies. Think about it. In the four years that I've been leader, we've won every cycle. But yeah. we've won while the other Republicans, the governors, the senators, they've lost. So uh, we need to be able to come together strong to stop what the Democrats are doing, but actually put the country in a new path, in a new place. Get some prosperity moving, get our economy moving again, get our borders secure, and also bring that accountability back to Washington we all crave so deeply about. So, Mr. Leader, I had a chance to serve with you when I was in Congress, uh, and everyone who sees you on TV, you're a nice guy. You're a friendly <laughs> guy. You got a great smile. But it's fascinating. A lot of liberals don't seem to like you. And the closer that this election gets, the more they hate you, whether it's Elon Omar, Nancy Pelosi, Adam Schiff, Liz Cheney. Um, they all don't like Kevin McCarthy. Why do these liberals hate you so much? Well, first of all, Nancy hates me because I beat her. Right. Uh, we, we wanted to fire Nancy Pelosi. We just did that by winning the majority. Uh, Omar and the others, I w I'll stand up to them. Adam Schiff is not going to be on the Intel Committee. Omar is not going to be sitting on foreign affairs. But more importantly, they want to have gas price high. I'm going to make sure who are energy independent, the price is low. They want to open border? No, I'm going to stand up and make sure this border is secure. You watch what they want to do to mandate the vaccine on our men and women. I was able to pull that out of the NDAA. So no longer you're kicking men and women out of, out of our military. These are the type of things. I'll stand up when they want to do their runaway spending, that Omni. Um, I'll speak on the floor, the longest speech ever on the floor given. Why? Because I will stand up to their liberals, policies of what they're doing because this country is too important about it and we've been able to win under this leadership and we're going to even be able to win more for the American public. So Leader McCarthy, the American people, they didn't give the Senate the majority in this last election, uh, Republicans, but they did give Republicans in the House the majority. So um, on January 3rd, you know, what is the first order of business? What are Republicans going to do in the first 100 days that you have the majority? Great question. The first thing we have to do is elect our speaker. We can't do anything until we elect that speaker. And if you watch, the White House is actually pushing back on our investigations, saying we're not going to give you anything until you get this solved. So we need to be able to move forward with that. Then on the very first day, the first thing we're going to do is repeal the 87,000 IRS agents. Another reason why the Democrats are mad at me. I think government should be here to help you, not to go after you. Then we're going to secure our border. You've got to secure this border, the millions of people coming across, the fit and all this killing our children. We need to work on our economy. That means making us energy independent. We need to hold this government accountable. Where's the origin of COVID began? Find out what this Biden family had done in the process. Make sure the FBI is not going after Americans, but actually going after crime. We've got so much work behind us, and we need to start on the very first day. Leader McCarthy, I know liberals say bad things about you, but I'm going to tell you what, I think you're a nice guy. And thanks for joining me tonight. Thank you, Sean. All right. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.